everyone has a purpose. Yeah. It may just be that is my purpose. Yeah. You know. Um yeah. I'm sure Jay Z and, and the Beyonce's are thinking, Wow, how come it's me? Yeah. Of all the people in yeah. this world, yeah. Aside from the hard work and graft, because I'm not the only one who's grafting and working hard. Yeah. Why True. me to reach that pinnacle? Yeah. Um, and I'm sure they're probably just as baffed. I'm just cover my body. 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 Chanel, two for two. My big cotton Jimmy Choo's. Run up these numbers, I'll be back school. I'm on a 100k move. Just pulled up with a crew. Front outside, go zoom. No lucky, no, you make the news. Chanel, two for two. Look spectacular. I know you do, but what about me? <laughs> um, they still have to invent a word for you. Ah! Uh, Paul, I've just been seeing what you've been doing. Flipping hell, man. No, thank you, Sam. Flipping hell. It's just... Bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and... S still like 1% of your potential. Mm. Still like one zero point zero zero one percent of what you got to offer. Yeah, you know, with being a creative, you're, uh, it's that age-old saying, you're never going to be satisfied with what you do, what you get up to, and what you've achieved. But one thing I'm starting to learn is to actually uh, take a sit back, uh, take a seat back, mm -hmm. and, and just look at the bigger picture. So just look at what has, where you've come from, and where you're going. But really appreciate the present, because uh, I believe that sometimes... We work so hard and so fast. We forget what's happening around us and what you've done um, because you're always chasing the next. And for your mental well-being as well, mm -hmm. it's essential that you do that. Mm -hmm. Essential that you kind of take a step back, look at what you've done. Yeah. Um, acknowledge it. Yeah. And then you can s set off again in the morning. You know, it's like doing stretches before but you go. But the present is so tough right now. It is. But... You know, we, 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 we live in a time where everything happens so fast. Tomorrow's going to come in less than 24 hours. Yeah. So what do we do with the present time? What are we doing with us yeah. as we are right now in this present moment? You yeah. know, we have to uh, relish it. You know, we have to savor that moment. And yeah. then as soon as tomorrow <clears throat> comes, that's a new day. Um, so I'm always recognizing now the achievements I've done, my peers have done, yeah. and, and, and taking it in, yeah. in that moment, yeah. and then saying, right, I'm ready for tomorrow. Yeah. Mm. Super important. No, 100%. 100%. Um, Is this something that you're doing new? Yeah, it's definitely something that I've started to do. Uh, Sam, like, again, creatives just don't stop. Yeah. Like, sometimes... So much so that they don't eat and they don't look after themselves and that could be detrimental mm -hmm. to, 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 to you, your physical, your well-being, yeah, mentally yeah, and physically. Yeah. So um, it's always a thing where I said, you know what, I'm, I started to see it happening with peers around me yeah. and I said, they're doing exactly the same kind of work rate as me. Yeah. Let me not let that happen to myself yeah, and let yeah. me... Um, Prevention is better than cure. So let me at least now start looking after myself yeah. and making sure that I don't kind of crash out. Yep. And um, yeah, just just take take it a lot easier. In a few of the conversations that we had, we were talking about that myth of grind 24-7. Matt, if you know what, if it was grind 24-7, um, people wouldn't look as physically well as they do. Yeah. Um, that grind twenty four seven is a mentality. It's not an actuality. So it's mm -hmm. it's good to have the mentality of as soon as I wake up, yeah, I'm going to do this and that and that and that and do my task and achieve my goals. But as soon as I wake up, which meant you went to sleep, yeah. So yeah. take your time. <laughs> take that sleep. Yeah. You know, obviously it varies. Eight hours, six hours, seven hours, four hours, whatever it is. At long as long as you get that sleep, you know. So I believe in that mentality, but it's 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 a mentality, not an actuality. You know, I don't I don't yeah. know anybody that would be able to physically survive without sleep because yeah. they were grinding. And like like um, coming where we come from, 
Like when I look at you, when I look at Lizzie, when I look at Tree, when I look at Joe. Yeah. Every one of these people are listed cut from a different cloth. There's something about them, that higher thinking, not that self thinking, but that higher thinking that keeps pushing them. And for example, Tree, the reason I'm talking about Tree is I literally seen this guy not sleep for 15 years. Wow. Yeah. That's that's a machine. That's a machine, machine right there. It, hey, bro. I always say, um, I always get inspired by people like yourself, Lizzie, Danica, mm-hmm. uh, Boyawa, mm-hmm. Kofi. To anyone who's listening, these are like our peers, our creative uh, yeah. partners, self-made. collaborators, all Inspirers. self-made. Yeah, and they do it. They're so like selfless. They do yeah. it for others. They yeah. do it for the betterment of the community. Yeah, and they're looked up to. You know, yeah. we're looked up yeah. to. So we have a, a a duty of care to the community. We've all come from yeah. an educational background yeah. where we have a duty of care to yeah. young people. It's even bigger responsibility when it's uh, uh, people your age yeah. or even older, or it's just a whole demographic. Yeah. Um, and for that fact, of course, you've got to keep going. You know, yeah. you do have to uh, have have a weight on your shoulder that you're you're able to bear. You just got to <coughs> yeah. do those shoulder workouts yeah. and just make sure that you are ready to facilitate everybody that needs it. Yeah. The funny thing with us is a lot of the times nobody asks for our help. Yeah. There's there's no one saying, oh, we need a Sam, we need a Boy Wonder, yeah. we need a Liz. Sometimes you have to go there and present yourself yeah. and show people why they do actually yeah. need your services yeah. or a product or whatever. Quite interesting because that means understand your value. Yeah. And that's something that's something not very apparent. You know, one thing I always remember is me and Sam used to work at the same place. Mm -hmm. And um, I remember, I think this is when I thought, I think Sam now knows the meaning of know your value. Because when you no longer were working there, I felt things were coming at you thick and fast. Mm -hmm. And I felt that that was the point where you said, this is the value that I'm actually worth. This is who I'm actually meant to be. This is the opportunity. These opportunities are coming to me because I've now gone um, somewhere where more opportunities are coming to me. And off the back of that, I can only test the, the testament is where you are now. You know, you've had so many opportunities. You've worked them. You've rinsed them. There's yeah. more coming. And I feel that that was the turning point. You you probably taking yourself away from somewhere else. And this is from the outside looking in. I mean, I tell you, I t- so first of all, it's not about me, it's about you. Yeah. I just have to answer that because yeah. it's, it's something that's actually happened within the last two months. <clears throat> Before that, what you're talking about is like, um, uh, what's the word? Um, my capacity. Mm. And the more my capacity was being tested, the more I realized I have more to give, more capacity to give. That, that we can we can go all day long with this, you know. Yeah. Nah, nah, we're not done yet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And my work ethic and me understanding who I am, and that I want to live my potential. I don't want to be caged like in a job. I'm caged in because I have certain things that I have to do. Yeah. And when those are done, the job is done. Yeah. Uh, um, <clears throat> but there's so much more I have to give. Yeah. My value is now starting to like understand joe and i we bring culture yeah culture is for sale mm. to you guys mm. yeah no you're gonna buy this mm. you're gonna buy this and through the culture the market share yeah that you guys are not getting mm-hmm. so now i can start putting a figure behind that value which is only growing as my impact grows right, I you see. know and now i was like mm, nah, no mm-hmm. but that's something very very new literally within the last two months right. you know? so um, that's why I'm talking about why. Well, the reason I mentioned value is because it's something new to me and I think people should understand that quickly in order to start building upon that value you I think what, what about you? you you talked about me but what about your value do, do you know what your I, value is I'll when be did honest, you figure I it out I knew my value from early 
because a lot of opportunities came to me quite early. Mm -hmm. um, and I started using that as a springboard to probably start putting, as they say, your price up. You know, yeah, I, yeah. I knew what I was worth. Yeah. You know, working with, or, you know, creating pieces for people like Pharrell when you hadn't gone to fashion college um, outside of a diploma right. and then having, you know, created pieces for Kanye and, yeah. and Will I Am yeah. so early in, in, in my profession. Yeah. I used that <coughs> as a springboard and um, there were even times. <clears throat> For example, PR agencies would say, oh, yep, you can come and do a little pop up here and um, but it's going to cost you this much. Mm. And I'll, I have no shame to say I said, do you know who I am? Yeah, you know, I, I had to say that yeah. for the simple fact mm. that um, there were others I believed who hadn't achieved as 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 much. Mm -hmm. uh, evidently so this was not hearsay this was like factual they hadn't done as much and uh, they were allowed to be in the same space for for nothing yeah so yeah you pay <coughs> they don't yeah. pay you've yeah. done more than them but somehow yeah. it, it just didn't equate to me so I, I had to yeah. come with that conversation not in so many words but having that conversation there was a u-turn yeah. and I was able to be in that space and kind of grow myself even yeah, more yeah um and that was the first time i was i actually realized um what i was worth yeah. my value uh, when you're in a creative agents uh, industry yeah there's a lot of people when you're young yeah. that are going to take advantage yeah. of you yeah. that's that's yeah. bad about that always happens yeah. um but it's for how long you know yeah. when you start looking at all the achievements you've done how yeah. long before you start realizing Okay, I need to stop doing this just for promotion, yeah. you know, because it's good for it's it looks good on paper, it looks good on your CV. Look at what you've done. Look at the value it brings, not to just that person, but to the environment and the industry as a whole. If you are a pinnacle factor behind that, remove yourself from that situation. That whole thing would not have happened. Yeah, that culture shift, that that trend would not have happened. And I say this to a lot of young people. <coughs> You guys don't even know that you guys are trending. You're walking trends. Yeah. You really yeah. don't know yeah. it. Your value yeah. is crazy. Yeah. If if it was back in the days, people would be buying your your Snapchat contacts. Yeah. That's that's for for data reasons. Yeah. Data is powerful. Yeah. Young people have it at their fingertips yeah. like it's nothing. Yeah. Albeit they don't know what to do with it or yeah. how to channel it to to, to market it and promote, it. Yeah. but they have it. Yeah. <clears throat> Corporations are looking at young people and yeah. saying, wow, how can we tap into that yeah. culture, yeah. into that yeah, exactly. demographic? Exactly. So I always say from young, yeah. know your value. Yeah. And even if you're not a fashion designer, even if you're not yeah. a musician, let me see how many contacts you've got on yeah. your, your your phone, how yeah. many people you know. Yeah. You're already valuable to, 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 to the big guns. So I knew that from early, that from what I've done, there's no way anybody can come to me and say, ah... Oh, there's no budget, yeah. but blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, we don't yeah, need yeah, you to yeah, do yeah, yeah, yeah. this thing, but yeah. why, do you, why don't you do that yeah. instead? So, yeah, yeah, I was very... The person militant. that said no budget is on 60K a year. Man, get, get the hell yeah, out of here. He get, 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 would, uh, <laughs> oh, your lunch could pay for that. Yes, you know, yes, your, your, yes, your weekly lunch it. could pay for that. Stop so, it, yeah, it. I always, you know, working with um, a lot of, corporates as a great you know as a as a designer i realized that was always the talk yeah um and i knew it's not your wallet it's coming out of yeah. you know it's it's coming from yeah. somewhere bigger so oh, straight away i knew you know yeah. i know my value and i'm gonna print it in black ink and that's gonna be what it is yep you need to retract a little bit yep and introduce you <laughs> yeah no that's cool i like the ones where you just go straight in and it's like yep. Yeah. The editors are gonna have to yeah, do the yeah, job yeah, now. The editors, just, yeah, yeah, whoop, yeah. And then come back in again. So we're talking to an entrepreneur and a social entrepreneur. First off, before we build on the details, this guy is a um, endless, no, a a bottomless bag of ideas. It just keeps coming and coming and coming and coming and it's irrelevant and it's current and he messes up the entire game and anyone. After you, you know, so, damn it. 
Damn it. I need you to write my bios from now on, Sam. That was well. That let, was a... Let's get started. Fashion designer. Yeah. Man, them clothing. Mm. Like you said, worn by Diddy, Pharrell Williams. Yeah. Will I am, Kid Rock, yeah. Kanye West. Like, bro, flipping out. And we're just getting started. <laughs> Events. Yeah. Sip and Stroke, the eighties bunch. Mm -hmm. Booked by people like Netflix, yeah. Starbucks, am I right? Yeah. Yeah, like, and, and we know your beginnings. Yeah. And now it's like Netflix. Mm. You know, so, whoa. Yeah. This guy is just progressing. Also education, extracurricular projects, yeah. workshops, fashion teacher. And um, <clears throat> really supportive in uh, understanding that um, Intel is currency and giving that currency out for free and empowering people mm. and the the young bucks after you focused yeah. different equality diversity inclusion lead uh that's a relatively new position that's it yeah sorry um and of course your comedy bro on social media ridiculous just having fun ridiculous man. just having fun this is not having fun but this is genius <laughs> stuff this is genius no, stuff. i really love um as someone who is <clears throat> you know as they say been in the game for a while i just yeah. love new things i love learning the new platforms how to use it how to utilize it how to market yourself on it yeah and it they work you know I, i've i've seen the young the younger generation use it and to the maximum you know people getting signed off of doing a tick or song that goes on a platform like tiktok to yeah. doing a dance trend and then ending up on stage with you know uh the person who sung, sang that song and it was just um I wanted to be part of it to stay not relevant but to stay sharp and yeah. and 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 sharpen your tool because there's always a means to an end you know there's al there's always a reason I do certain things you know even the comedy it's like yeah it's funny yeah. um but I'm wearing the garments yeah. you know so yeah. it's visibly yeah. there and it, even if it's subtly it's done it's still done it's there yeah. so um I'm mean, from the young kids man these 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 guys have uh, are, the, are the future so yeah. I use all those things um, to, to my advantage basically um, as an educator and especially in design I always want to have just like you were mentioning earlier young people around you because yeah. they've got <clears throat> Uh, they're springy, they're energetic, they've got new ideas yeah. <clears throat> they've got ideas that are going to enhance yours yeah. better than yours Um and you also just want to be a mentor to them. Yeah. Um. So, you know, I work around a lot of young people and I do my best to almost uh, nurture them and give them the first industry experience yeah. in whatever field they may be yeah. in. You know, whether it's an introduction or whether it's taking them under my wing. Um. I always believe like everything I've done, everything you've mentioned in my yeah. bio, yeah. I want to <clears throat> pass that on to somebody else yeah. uh, or that knowledge to somebody else so that they can be another they can be their own person. Yeah. You know, when I was growing up, I didn't have someone who could say, oh, this is how you do it. And yeah. this is who you speak to. And this is where you yeah. go. Yeah. So I really want to make sure that I pass that on to the, to the, to the younger generation, everything I've done. I believe it would be criminal to not share or show the blueprint, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I really want to make sure that anyone who's around me, knows that I'm a very open person. Um, I, I'm not selfish. Yeah. Um, if you want to know, hey, Absolutely. how'd you get into this? How'd you do that? Yeah. Hey, yeah. I'll, 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 I'll let you know. We'll have that conversation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, um, I can only agree to everything you said. Mm. What motivated you? This is, I have to rephrase this question because it's like, you're not a business as such. You are a grower and um you know um we always talk about status quo mm. and we always talk about we the of course people before us and then we we open doors yeah. we're not going in make millions and, yeah you know but we open doors and what we do is we shake the pillars of the status quo yeah and continue shake it start gonna start cracking yeah so that's a higher form of business that what i see you 
Like, yeah. Because where like we that. come from... You go from, in and you shake it shake and then it. make it weaker so that anyone after you yeah. could just a little nudge and it's... Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and anyone after you, I mean, you have an army. Yeah. So this pillar is being shaking, 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 shaking. Like, it's coming down. Uh, you know what? We're going to be in a situation where this kind of conversation is only going to happen from top level up now. You know, we're not going to be foot soldiers talking about how to manoeuvre into the corporal's yeah. office anymore. Yeah. We yeah. will be yeah. in a position where the ones after us yeah. are going to be in that pos- yeah. in that corporal's office. We will be the corporals and we will be opening the doors yeah. to let people through. Yeah. So I, this is an exciting time to be in as creatives from the culture because everything you're seeing now, everyone that you're seeing do major things may not look like you. They may not have been born from that culture. They may not even have any interest in that culture, even if they're curating it. Sooner or later, it will be people that care about the culture. Not necessarily have to look like you, but care about the culture, embody the culture in their nine to five and outside of their nine to five. And they will be having an influx of young, spunky creatives taken over that yeah. building you know yeah. um, it, it, sometimes it's even uh, they've already got their own building yeah i look at you and your establishment you guys already creating that so you don't even have to sometimes take over you just build it from the ground up yeah. and it will go even higher than the ones that may not have been letting you in from before yeah so yeah it's uh, it's an amazing time to be in it's a, also obviously an where does this motivation come from because you're, 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 again, you're not talking money, you're not talking paying the mortgage or the rent, you're not talking about the driving a brand new BMW, you're talking about the revolution, bro. No, you know what? I, it's, it's, it's a crazy concept when you think you're only going to be doing something for capital gain, you know? Um, yeah. And I, ne- I, I don't have it to know it, but it's for people who say, you know, even millionaires don't aren't aren't happy yeah you know yeah. even with having much money they're not happy so it's always crazy for me that somebody would do something because of money yeah me personally i love helping people like my dad raised four of us up yeah. by himself yeah you know a grown man with four kids to look after he could have put us into care he could have said yeah. you know what auntie uncle look after these guys like while i do yeah. whatever but the fact that he decided to put his career on hold and say, you know what, I'm going to raise one, not two, not three, but four kids yeah. on my own. Um, I think that filtered into us mm. and to me, yeah. you know, as 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 one of the eldest of the of uh, the, the four from from my dad was he he just made me. I feel that I wanted to help people, yeah. you know, selflessly, yeah. you know, and I think that's what motivates me. I want to do what he did for us. Yeah. I feel it's only right. I feel like that might even be my purpose. That yeah. might even be what I'm here for, you yeah. know, to help yeah. other people. Yeah. And in doing so, yes, I've got to build myself up and yes, I've got to do things for myself. Yeah. But once I'm in that stratosphere, I'm now able to make the necessary chess moves and open the back doors and I don't even have to kick it in no more. Yeah. I've got the key. I just, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, you guys yeah. come sick, through. Sick, you know? sick, yeah. Sick. So I think that is my motivation yeah whatever my parents did yeah. for me i feel that i've got to do yeah. that to uh, uh, uh for others it's in your dna it's in my it's dna it's in, it's, in, it's in the stitching it's in the stitching it's in the stitching it's in the stitching, it's in yeah. the stitching. No. i mean the, the next question you kind of answered is like why you what makes you so great no i'm joking what makes you unique um why you to, to what is it about your character about your the way I, your mind I, works. I wish, I, I've got a twin brother. I wish yeah. that question could be asked to him. I, I I always try to look inside me and ask that and answer those kind of questions. But yeah. it's very, it's very difficult. I always want to know what others think. Yeah, you know, to be able to answer that honestly. Oh, well, it will be answered honestly because it's coming from others, but. I wouldn't. Oh man, that's a difficult question. It's a difficult so, one. It's yeah. a, it's yeah. a, why me? Why? Why not? Why not? Yeah. yeah why yeah. not? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. But you know, to answer it genuinely and honestly, 
I actually don't know. Maybe it's God's grace. Maybe it's God's grace and said, yeah. um, you're going to be that one that kind of yeah. makes changes or or pivots everything to the left when it's yeah. going to the right. So everyone has a purpose. Yeah. It may just be that is my purpose, yeah. you know. Um, yeah. I'm sure Jay-Z and, and the Beyonce's are thinking, wow, how come it's me? Yeah. Of all the people in yeah. this world, yeah. aside from the hard work and graft, because I'm not the only one who's grafting and working hard, yeah. why True. me to reach that pinnacle? Yeah. Um, and I'm sure they're probably just as baffed, you know, apart from it being a higher power, yeah. saying it's going to be your blessing. In my earlier conversations, I'm, I'm just now starting to see patterns, right? Mm. Purpose. Grace, giving back. These are these are the things that I see in every business owner that I've been talking to. Um, that that's literally told me that in yeah. those words. And then you have the flip side. What are the hardest things about owning a business? Because with that mm. comes that. Just the practical things. The hardest things is is being able to even maintain. Um, maintain it maintaining a business is not easy mm -hmm. doing it alone is not easy mm -hmm. and having you know just from the crooks of everything just having little to no capital mm -hmm. is also very difficult yeah you know um you can give all the fancy answers but if you've got no money if you've got no one and you've got like no time yeah it's very difficult yeah. to maintain it yeah yeah so everyone would dream of having more time or mm -hmm. yeah, more time, yeah. whatever you're doing on the side, whether it's a side hustle or your main yeah. hustle, you always want a lot more than 24 hours. You need capital to get things off the ground. Yeah. Yes. Because even with capital, sometimes you lose it and things don't work out. Yeah. So you feel like I, I need to go again. Yeah. And by going again, you need more time. Yeah. And obviously when you need more time, you want to make sure you delegate tasks. And if you're doing it, by yourself or with a with a small team and it's a big task then things become difficult so those three things um capital time and and people yeah if you don't have any of those yeah. three sam i'm telling you i've been in situations where i've tried to do like there was one time um i remember box park shortage gave mm -hmm. me a pop up space and um it was so early in in, in in my design career that I didn't have the manpower mm -hmm. and I didn't have the money mm -hmm. and I didn't have the resources. Mm -hmm. So it was like, wow, I've been given this opportunity, but I actually can't take it. I actually can't fulfill it because yeah. I can't do this by myself. Yeah. So I had to hold off for it yeah. until the right time and then yeah. revisit that again. Yeah. But I just remember feeling so so disillusioned about how a business runs. Yeah. Like, wow, you do need more, yeah. a lot of things because if an opportunity hits you, you've got to be ready, yeah. you know? So I, I, I then yeah, yeah, very, very true. Stayed, stayed with the concert, you know, with the mentality of um, stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, and I always make sure there's, there's things in place um in case things hit you sideways, you can never be a hundred percent foolproof. Yeah. But it's always good to make sure that there's things in place in case, you know, um, the inevitable and not sometimes inevitable happens. Yeah. Mm. Very true. Yeah. Nothing to say to that. Everyone, one hundred. Yeah. I I feel it's I feel it's just one of those things. Like, hey, it may rain tomorrow because the yeah. weather forecast says it, but then it may be super sunny and dry and then your crops don't work now yeah. i mean your crops aren't growing yeah. but it's, yeah that's life that's life yeah you know but it is what it is it is what it is <laughs> one piece of advice when it comes to business financials mm. yeah um remember we're talking to the youth we're um, 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 showing them showcasing people like you that look feel talk wear, are mm. the same yeah what would you say to the business financials um, <clears throat> there was a young guy who came to me and said, um, can I get some advice on how to start a clothing line? Mm. Um, 
I want to, uh, what, what manufacturer shall I use? Um, which parcel company shall I say? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. You're like 16. Yeah. You don't need to be talking manufacturers yet. Yeah. Yeah. You don't even need to be talking parcel force and Royal Mail, yeah. you know, partnerships at the moment. Take it back and what, what you can afford because otherwise mm-hmm. you're going to be going crazy trying to get credit cards, loans, ask yeah. mum for money, dad for money, carer for money or whatever it is. So start off small. Yeah. And scale up. Yeah. That journey is beautiful. Believe me, you know, doing yeah. one, two, one, two tops yeah. or creating one, two jerseys, yeah. three, four, five, six, yeah. your whole gang. Yeah. They go wear it out in Westville, Stratford. Yeah. Somebody else like the look of it. And then they now want to get involved. And then that's like 20, 30, yeah. 40. Start small. Use what you have. Yeah. If you have a Saturday job, put money as, and you're serious about your craft. If you're a photographer and yeah. you want to buy new lenses, work with what you have. Yeah. Use any bit of money that comes your way to split it, give some to your parents or whatever yeah. you've got to do to take care of the house and then put some aside to be able to help your craft, whatever that might yeah. be, material, sewing machine, make sure you work within your means. Yeah. Um, do not get yourself in debt over a business idea that isn't, for example, registered. Yeah. Don't register your company when you haven't got resources. Yeah. 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 So try to take things one step at a time. Patience. Patience. Mm. You're young, you've got time mm. and use the resources that you have. If it's a Saturday job. Yeah. Start saving money yeah. to be able to. That's really good advice. It's really good. Yeah, it's it's just real practical because yeah. I'm picturing myself as a young person yeah. who's got the idea, but all they've got is drawings. Yeah, and they're frustrated because now they want to make it into an actual piece, and yeah. I know in their mind they're thinking I'm gonna have 28 pieces yeah. of just t-shirts, then 28 trousers, then 28 yeah. da da da. Just take your time. Relax. Even once you make one and mm. you are your own billboard, you wear mm. it first. Yeah. Go out there. Like you did, right? That's, yeah. yeah. Just wear your own stuff first. From there, mm-hmm. there's going to be one more person, two more people. You know, once you make your first five clients, that money is enough to start building um, into 10 yeah. and into 20. Yeah. So take your time and use your resources correctly. Yeah. Listen to Paul. <laughs> what can Sam, I say? No, you're, 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 I, I, first of all, I, it's a pleasure being on the podcast. It's been a while since I've even well, seen you physically. Tap, tap, tap you on back, but that's that's really nice to see you again. Yeah. Yeah, it's been it's been a long time. I know. I see you blinging now. Jeez. No, no, no! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> this is hand me down. Never, yeah, never. So I don't do <laughs> hand me down. Have you still got the German whip? No, bro. No, uh, bro. It's... You know what? Um. I've kind of like grown out of that. Yeah. And um um and now I see the fakeness behind it all. Oh wow. It's 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 a little bit of a journey. Again, it's bro, this is about you. Oh man. It's about but you. I, I, I love talking. I love yeah. talking and kind of spinning it back. Um, but so so for example, um I needed outfits for this podcast, right? Yeah. And um, we were thinking about you, but it was like yesterday, day before yesterday, and I, I didn't want to disrespect you yeah. or your brand by um, thinking that if I give you a call 24 hours before that you're capable of doing it your business is too big for that mm. that's my respect mm. so I was looking at alternatives and um, getting to um, self just rental okay and um, looking at all these guys like yeah sick uh, what's it called Palm Angels yeah, yeah? And, and and I think you pay like 53 pounds for four days and it right. costs like 260 pounds something like that yeah right. and immediately I can fake it but, right, but okay. but, but it's, I understand when musicians do it um, because they have a brand to sell. Yeah, yeah. But I'm a real guy, yeah, and and, and I don't want to represent the fakeness. Mm. Not that I don't want to wear Palm Angels. Yeah. yeah, bro, I'm all the way with it. Yeah, you've seen me in my heyday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah two yeah. of them whips. <laughs> um, but it has to be because I can afford it. Of course, it, yeah. it can't be because I'm trying to please you. And that's mm. what. I want that going back to what the advice was, it's yeah. don't do it for the wrong reasons. Don't do it for the wrong reasons. Yeah, because you'll see that you don't last. Yeah. And you'll remember yeah. Yeah. when oh yeah, remember when we did this thing and then yeah. oh yeah, whatever happened to that? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Whatever, Dead whatever. Out. It just fizzled out. So always yeah. make sure your heart is in it. 
because your heart is actually in yeah. it, basically. Yeah. Uh, red or yellow? What's your favorite color? Out of red or yellow? Uh, yellow. Yellow. There you go, sir. Hey, look at this. Yes. Representing yes. the Mandem. Yes. Ah, thank you, man. Anytime, man. Really, Anytime. Really. Keep you. Keep your toes. Nice and toasty this week. Toasty, winter. yeah. You, you know, you know, leaders don't get presents, bro. Ah! You do now. You do now. I love it, oh, Sam. Thank you, man. Nah, anytime, anytime, man. Um, okay, let's talk about a little bit about you. Mm-hmm. I know we're running out of time. Um, cool, cool. She's like ready mm-hmm. to box me up. <laughs> um, don't need that. Don't need that. Name one book. That aspiring business owners should read. Uh, one book that aspiring business owners should read uh, read is is actually any key stage maths and English book. Love it. Any key stage <laughs> maths it. and English book. Because yeah. I'm telling you now, you uh, uh, English is super underrated mm-hmm. and maths is super underrated. Mm-hmm. Um, for any business owners, yeah. obviously, yeah. maths is going to be in your, excuse yeah. the pun, equation. Yeah. Anytime you're running one, a business, yeah. uh, numbers, you're going to have to make sure you can actually calculate. Even if it's just the basics, we're not going to go into yeah. trigonometry, but percentages yeah. and ratios. Those two kind of equations are very, very important. Yeah. Uh, obviously, addition, sums, multiplications, yeah. and so on. But that is very important. Yeah. And uh, also, English how to speak to people, how to address people verbally and digitally and in written form, yeah. um, having interpersonal skills. Yeah. You know, it doesn't matter how young you are. If you can speak eloquently, relatively, yeah. I mean, yeah. in, in the way you speak yeah. and come across very mature yeah. and very ready, yeah. um, people will take you way more seriously yeah. Not saying anyone should start using super, super Queen English or whatever like yeah. that, but just make sure your basic spelling and grammar is correct. Yeah. I've had to, unfortunately, delete emails that come in and inquiries that just sound like oh, I'm their bredgen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah, their yeah. age mate. And that is a yeah. real, uh, I don't really deal with those kind of things. So, yeah. Those two books, just no, it's true. Very, it's very so basics. True. You know? So true, and you know what? Once you like, say for percentages, yeah. Once you learn how to calculate percentages, then you start to understand percentages, and that's when the game happens. Mm-hmm. You know, um, and I find that like what I'm now in my journey now, I'm starting to understand and see patterns, and mm. and and. That's when I can start becoming creative again. Yeah. Learn the game first. You yeah. Know? Learn to play, play the piano. Like, I had classical training, uh, piano training from right. when I was five years old. Right. Yeah. And, uh, um, like, uh, really learned how to play the instrument, read, um, uh, read, read notes, music theory and whatnot. And then with 14, I had my first jazz lesson. And he gave me this um, sheet of paper, music paper. There was just, like... Uh, chords right there's not like this whole instruction how to play and how to what beethoven said when to become loud and when to say right. the chords and he said no nah, now you improvise okay and i was like whoa okay i i know the theory now it's about self-expression i love that you know and, I love and, and that. that's when i grew as a he they he took the stabilizers off the bike basically the stabilizers off the bike and say go where you yeah. want to go now i didn't have nowhere to go until i was understanding that I can go anywhere I want to go. That's sick. You know what I'm saying? That's sick. Like, and, and that's, so what you're saying is so true. Like, but that's the basic. Learn the basic. Learn yeah. the basic. If you don't have that down, you're going to sound stupid. That's it. And when you I sound stupid, say, your reputation's done. Out of, out of the window. Mm-hmm. I, I always say, if you, if you learn to drive a car, you can drive any car yeah. from a Nissan to a Lamborghini. Yeah. Yeah, they, they, they don't really, they're not really any different. Yeah. They're just, the basic is learning yeah, how basic, to drive. Yeah, yeah. Whichever car you drive is now up to you, basically. Yeah. 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 Amazing. Boy, this is a gem after gem after gem. Last question. Mm-hmm. Uh, was there a time you wanted to quit? How did you deal with it? And how did you overcome? Um, yeah, that would be a quick question. A uh, quick answer. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, there was, I never wanted to quit. I swear. I never wanted to quit. There was times when... Um, what I was doing may not have been important yeah. anymore or interesting anymore. 
not for me, but for others. But I always had the hunger like it was the first time. Um, when we make our first drop for any garment, yeah. when I do a new event, yeah. when I educate anyone new in the classroom, it's like the, the hunger for the first time. That that bit, I don't know what it is, but that never goes. That never goes. I, I, I don't know how many pieces of thing uh, garments we've printed, mm. embroidered, sewn, yeah. stitched, heat pressed. It still feels like it's the first time. Wow. Even if you made no yeah. money that year. Let's yeah. say you made zero money that year. I would still feel like we're going to make a whole load of money this yeah, year yeah, or yeah, I'm yeah, going to yeah, be yeah, so yeah, excited yeah. when people wear this piece. I still get that feeling. And um, I've never had a period where I'm like, let me quit. It's, it's never it's I Love never that. Love that. Doesn't like, exist in the vocabulary. That, 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 there that, you are that, talking that, about learning your English and now you don't even know what quitting means, bro. Ah. Sick. <laughs> Sick. That's missing in the dictionary. <laughs> I love that. Hey, uh, it was a pleasure. Sam, you're a you're, superstar, man. It was man. an absolute pleasure. Uh, big up to your team. Anyone behind the camera, please make sure you check out mandem-clothing.co.uk. Follow me on Instagram, uh, B W O Y W O N D E R. That's Boy Wonder. Mm -hmm. And um, make sure you follow uh, the Big 80s Brunch, uh, yes, the sir. best 80s night in town. Um, in the world. In the world. In the world. In the world. What am I thinking small for? In the no, world. No, no. Is that camera one? Camera one. That camera is probably pointing at my knees. <laughs> uh, but yeah, and uh, make sure you come check out Sip and Stroke. UK, it's the biggest sip and paint party in the world. You've got to come to see it and believe it. You're invited. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you and Joe, come and catch uh, uh, absolutely I can't ultimate come there Joe, bro. extra. Ex what? Nah, bro. Come and catch an ulti ultimate extra extraordinary experience. Okay. Whether you're a creative or not, okay. whether you can paint or not, it's there's so much more <laughs> that we provide than just art class and art lessons yeah. so make sure you oh hell in. oh hell yeah you see oh hell yeah uh -huh. um we're gonna link everything um Beautiful. before before that well, I'll, I'll get your approval of the description Lovely. um but guys get involved because um if you're not with paul you're not with the culture if you're not with the culture you're in the 1800s <laughs> where everyone else is that's been sleeping on us so bro thank you very continue, much continue Sam. building continue doing these amazing things getting these amazing deals in and like continue shaking the pillars i love you. Oh my God. Jeez.